Hello everyone, welcome back to Slug Lady Plays, and welcome back to Blackwell Deception. Uh, we were able to save Jeremy, but we still don't know who killed him, so it's time to talk to Lisa. Hi, it's me again. Oh, hello. Do come in. Please, sit. Jeremy's phone. Okay, so she's not gonna talk about- actually... Let's see. No, yeah, she's not gonna talk to us about Jeremy, so- Lisa, I found Jeremy's phone. It was outside, in the trash. It's a public street. So he was here. He might have been outside. I cannot say. I know you spoke to Jeremy, Lisa. Why are you lying to me? Lying? What makes you think that? You just know Jeremy told you and you're a psychic. Uh... You know what? Let's just go straight, straight to the point. I'm psychic, bitch. I'm psychic, like you. You have the gift. Yes. Somehow I doubt that. I think this interview is at an end. It's very clear that I will be unable to help you. Your mind is closed off. You aren't seeking help. You only want to destroy. What? No, I, I only want to... Your very presence is damaging the aura of peace I spent years trying to create. I insist that you leave. And I also insist you give up this line of inquiry. Give up? That's not an option. Not for me. Nevertheless, My friend came to see you, and then he was killed. You can either help me, or you can get in my way. But one way or another, I'm gonna find out what happened. I'll be in touch. Smooth exit. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. Nice going, Rosa. I love it when Rosa shows backbone. Not bad for a night's work? I guess. We still don't know how or why Jeremy was killed. That's not really our problem, is it? Maybe. It's just kind of personal this time. Yeah, I get it. Look, you get some sleep. You might feel different tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. It's been a long night. Joey? Yeah? The old man at the nursing home. Who is he? Get some sleep, Red. was revealed to be Jeremy Sams, a reporter at the City Post newspaper. No suspect is in custody yet. The police issued a statement to say that their investigations are continuing and advise everyone to avoid the High Line after dark. All right. Hey, get over here. Yeah. Don't know why we're hanging around here. Neither do I. Let's keep going. I guess it's... All right. Sure. Time to talk... I guess talk to Lisa again. Oh, you know, we didn't call... We should call Detective Durkin. And what would I do with... Should psychics really advertise themselves like this? Maybe I've been going about this the wrong way. He keeps looking up at that neon sign and frowning. If she ever decides to hang up a shingle, it better not be one like this. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's call Durkin. Durkin. Hi, it's me again. Uh huh. I found Jeremy's phone outside of a psychic's office. You did, huh? Where is it? I've got it with me. Hello. Yes? Uh, forget it. It's just junk now. Oops. <laughs> I found out that Jeremy went to visit a psychic named Lisa Tenzin. A psychic? Is it relevant? I don't know. Well, we'll keep her on file. Thanks for the info. I was just checking in. Any word on Jeremy's murder? Nothing yet. We're working on it. You got anything for us? I don't have any- mm -hmm. Other than that... Okay, let's talk to Lisa. Sorry, 
I'm not seeing clients tonight. Hi, Lisa? Hello? Well, that was rude. Okay, let's try that again. Sorry, I'm not seeing clients tonight. Don't go anywhere, Lisa. I need to talk to you. Hello? Damn it. Why not? It's personal. Please come back tomorrow. Hello? And we can just keep on doing this. Look, you've had some time to think about it. Maybe we can talk about Jeremy now. Guess that's a no. So we gotta send Joey in. You know, I never- Full of pseudo-mystic junk. I never tried to send Joey in beforehand. Wouldn't want to read him, even if I could. No idea who that is. I don't know who that is either. It definitely looks like it's a real photo, but I have no idea who that's <laughs> Classy. supposed to be. More mystic crap. Just for the atmosphere, I guess. It does nothing for me. There's Lisa. She's staring at that photograph. Let's just look around before we look at the photograph. Cuckoo is certainly the word for the broad who lives here. What sort of person puts that kind of thing on a shelf? Nothing on there but junk. Looks like an urn for somebody's ashes. Looks like a phone to me. Just your standard cabinet. Just a drawer. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. Give me just a second. I'm going to add that to my list of <laughs> things I cannot touch. I just can't come to grips with it. <laughs> okay, that one we haven't heard yet. Can we go upstairs? Ah, too far away from red. This is as far as I can go. Okay, let's take a look at this photo. Is that... Danny? Is that you? So, this is the part that I've been super excited about because... That... And that... Definitely looks like the name Malone. And that... I, I have no idea what that word is. I-N-E... Maybe a T. But that looks, that definitely looks like Taylor. T A I L O R, R or an N, but Taylon doesn't really make much sense. And this is, this is huge. Because from the beginning of the game, we have gotten nothing about Joey. Now we've got the name Danny, and we've got a bunch of boxes and a sign that definitely looks like it says Malone. She knows him. That phony knows him. Knows who? Danny Marconi, that's who. Who is Danny Marconi? <sighs> Remember that old guy in the nursing home? She's mooning over a picture of him. I don't like where this is going. Not one bit. Well, then I guess we better... Oh. Something else. Should psychics... Maybe I've been... And what would I do with... Hey, Joey? What's going on? Just talk first. Legit psychic or not, that neon sign is so tacky. Says the girl with the lava lamp in her bedroom. What's wrong with lava lamps? If you have to ask the question, you already know the answer. Hmm. That's all for now. Yeah. Just a quick chat before we go hey, get over see here. Yeah. this Danny person. What an eyesore this place is. I know. And we passed three empty storefronts just walking here. Joints are shutting down all over the city, but this place stays open. I guess people just like being suckered. All right, let's- Sure. All right. 
So I guess it's back to the nursing home. Uh, whoops. Let's try that again. Seagram. Everything's moved now. Hi again. Hello. Do you have a patient here named Danny Marconi? Yes, we do. Are you a relative? No, I'm just hoping to ask him some questions. Oh, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but he passed away earlier this afternoon. I see. It was peaceful. He just went quietly in his sleep. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, good for him. What do we come here for anyway? Come on, let's blow. Um, sorry to bother you. So, do you want to talk about it? It's ancient history. There's nothing to say. Let's just get a move on. Alright, I guess the only place left is back to Lisa's. We can't even go to the nursing home now. <sighs> Let's try Lisa again. Sorry, I'm not seeing clients tonight. Danny Marconi. Do you know a Danny Marconi? Let me in and I'll tell you. No, I don't think so. Goodbye. Okay, let's try that again. Sorry, I'm not seeing clients tonight. About Danny Marconi. What about him? I know he died this afternoon. And? And I wanted to talk to you about him. Yesterday, you threatened me. Today, you want to talk about my grandfather. Wait, grandfather? He was your grandfather? Yes. If you didn't know that, why are you here asking about him? Grandfather? I can't believe it! Well... Um... Uh... Mutual friend. We have a mutual friend. Really? And who might that be? It's complicated. Uh-huh. I ask you again. How do you know my grandfather? Uh... I knew him. I knew him personally? I'm psychic. I'm psychic. You know about my grandfather because you're psychic. Yes. Did you talk to his ghost or something? Ironically, no, I didn't. <laughs> uh -huh. I ask you again. How do you know my grandfather? Okay, Joey, little help? A little help here. <sighs> Just tell her this. He used to be a tailor. He used to be a tailor. Um... Uh, fine. Tell her everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. What? Just say it. Everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. Excuse me? He drank whiskey straight with no ice. He put salt on everything. He played the clarinet like he was born with it in his hand. He would have sold his soul to play at the supper club. And he was madly, madly in love with a singer named Linda. Madly in love with a singer named Linda. Linda was my grandmother. She died before I was born. Thank heaven for small favors. Seeing you would have broken her heart. You're... for real, aren't you? You're one of... them? Them? No. I'm not falling for that. I've been nothing but loyal over the years. You have no reason to test me like this. Look at her. Shaken like a leaf. Just because there was that bit of trouble with the reporter... You mean his murder. I am not responsible for that. Why now? If what I suspect is true, you people have looked the other way for years. Why the change of heart? Gavin has killed someone. I can't confirm that one way or the other, and neither can you. Look, I'm just a friend of Jeremy's. I want to know what happened, that's all. Whoever Gavin is, he needs to be stopped. I want to believe you. Then what's the problem? Look. What if I tell you my suspicions and I'm wrong? You think I can just walk away? So what do you suggest? I'll give you the names of the last two clients I referred to Gavin. That's harmless enough. You look into them. You find anything. Maybe we can talk. Okay. Fine. Give them to me. Here. Thanks. I will get to the bottom of this. I hope so. But until you do, leave me out of it. Now get out. 
I've done all I can. Is this what you lived for, Danny? Was it worth it? You were a good man, Danny. You deserved a better legacy than this. Well, maybe we both did. So it looks like we've got to track down these two names. Huh? Oh, sure. Who are they? We've got a Tiffany Walters. She lives on Thompson Street, just south of Washington Square. And the other? Jamie Graham. She's a student up at Columbia. Didn't you go to school there? Yeah, it's been a while. All right, so let's start with Tiffany. Charming. <laughs> wow, it is <laughs> quite the place. Flyers for guitar lessons, computer repair, and furniture. Although this one looks interesting. Hello fellow residents, it has come to my attention that many of you have set up insecure Wi-Fi networks for your apartment. That's fine, assuming you want every NYU student on the block to leech off you and slow your system to a crawl. If, you like the, if you're like the rest of us, you might want to learn how to add a password to your system. And here's one piece of advice for free. Your dog's name is not a secure password. Signed, a concerned resident. Okay. Mailboxes. They're all locked. It's a bunch of mailboxes. Tiffany's name is written on her buzzer. She's in apartment two, right on the ground floor. No response. Now, if I remember correctly, yes, here we go. One of these things is not like the other. It looks the same as all the others. Locked. Got a sec? What's going on? I think I stepped in something disgusting on the street outside. Wouldn't be surprised. I think the streets around here get cleaned about once a decade. I think I- What? That's all for now. Yeah. Must I? Oh, sorry, <laughs> I meant to click on. I must. I meant to Let's click talk. Become Rosa. What is it, Joey? What's with all the kids out there tonight? The circus in town? They're just NYU students. I think there's a dorm on this block. That explains all the bars. Hmm. All right, let's get back to it. Sure. I was never. I was never a party person. In college. Locked. All right. Your turn, Joey. In you go. Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Hello? What? Hi there. What? Who are you? How'd you get in? Oh, I... Ah, uh, neighbor, new landlord, new landlord, a friend. Let's try landlord. I'm your new landlord. Just checking to make sure everyone's happy. Really? Oh, how nice. It makes my day when people care. Huh? I can see right through you, mister. Uh, you're not the only one. Oh, shut up! <laughs> you think you're so clever? You think you're so charming? Can't blame a guy for trying. Well, well, take, take it, it somewhere, somewhere else. else. I've had enough. Enough of what? I'm turning my back now. I want to be left alone. Okay. Late 20s. Looks a bit beaten by life. Yeah, she's a bit thin in the face. Looks like a pretty threatening letter from someone called STP. Your final payment. Miss Walters. As per our agreement, your final balance, balance owned has been directly deposited into the account we have on file. We would also like to remind you not to harass our client further. This includes phone calls, emails, text messages, and personal visits. We have received numerous complaints. If these actions continue, we will be forced to take the appropriate police action. We hope it does not come to this. We appreciate your compliance in the matter. else can we click on leads to a back room no good 
This is as far as I can move. Okay. Well, we got a photo here. There's a message written on this photo. Rachel and Tiff. We... rocked? I don't get it. <laughs> oh. Joey and modern slang. It looks like Tiffany. I guess she worked in an office before she died? I can only assume her name is Rachel. We rocked? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Alright, so that's about as much as we got. Uh, is there any other clues? Can we... We... What the hell is... Can we, can we blow it over? Can we... Not sure what... Okay. Can we talk to her? Hello again. What? So, you're Tiffany Walters, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Whatever. Well, we've confirmed that at least. So what's your beef anyway? I never had a broad so angry with me. Not before dinner anyway. Hmm. Just leave me alone. So, um, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're dead. What? You're a ghost. You're haunting your own apartment. I'm what? That's rich. Really rich. I thought I'd heard them all, but that one... Just leave me alone. Hmm. Do you know anyone named Gavin? Gavin? Yeah. You know him? I don't know. You don't know? No. Forget it. Well, that triggered something. Could you tell me what STP stands for? Stop with the personal questions! It's my life. I made my choices. I'll deal with them. Just leave me alone. Ooh. That's a cute picture there of you. Who's your friend? Stop with the person. It's just leave. So, tell me about yourself, Tiffany. Nice try, but I don't think so. Have you ever been up to the High Line? What? No. Are you familiar with Jeremy Sams, a reporter for the City Post? What? No. Okay, so Jeremy didn't go see her. Uh, but she definitely noticed. Well, see you she around. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. See. Reacted you. to the name Gavin. So how did it go? She's a spook, all right. Pretty recent one too. Just like Jeremy. Yeah. So, let's have a look-see. This is another thing. It's too dark to make anything out. It's too dark- So we can't get in, but Joey can look inside. Okay, so this puzzle was one of the puzzles that frustrated me a little bit, because I couldn't figure out what to do, but honestly, this is a really cool puzzle. So. I got these business cards made up a few months ago. They glow in the dark. It's so cool. So we take the glow-in-the-dark business card, toss it into the mailbox. No point. He can't touch. <sighs> Joey, move out of the way. Nope. Still look. Take the glow-in-the-dark business card, toss it into the mailbox. And then have Joey look inside. This is really cool. Let's have a look-see. I'm sorry, but that... I know how... This this probably wouldn't work in real life, but it's still really cool. I can just make out the return address. This letter is from someone named R. Abu. R. Abu. I can just make... This letter is from someone named... Okay. So let's, uh, check this out. Oh, we got some new emails. Oh, from the Shanti. Hello from Jap Japur. This trip has been wonderful and I'm really looking forward to heading home. I'm not the world traveler I used to be, it seems. I'm sure poor Moti is raising hell at the kennel. <laughs> Either way, I wanted to check in. We'll have dinner when I get back. Nishanti. Aww. Oh. <laughs> 
My name is Scott Hain Haynes. My wife Madison told me you were badgering her and my mother with questions yesterday. Our family has been through a tremendous ordeal and don't need you stirring things up. I don't want to want to get the police involved, but I will. Uh. Alright. So Rachel and R. Abu. I think it's a pretty good bet that the R in R. Abu stands for Rachel. Okay. Tiffany had a letter from someone named STP. No connection that I can see. Okay, so let's try uh, STP. TP first. There must be hundreds of possible results for STP. This isn't going to help me at all. Okay, so then let's try Rachel Abu. Cup of Clay Cafe. Hi everyone, I just wanted to post and let you know that my new coffee house is open. It's called Cup of Clay. And we're over at 19... 19... 90th Street and Avenue A. Come swing by and say hi. Alright. Let's go check out this cup of clay place. That's a nice picture over there. Caramel espresso shots. I am so coming here when this is over. <laughs> Joey doesn't look too impressed with this place. He obviously doesn't appreciate the finer things in life. <laughs> Joey, Joey ain't a coffee person. He's a martini person. Let's look at Rosa. Another coffee shop? How much caffeine does one city need? Enough? How much caffeine? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Four bucks for coffee? She keeps looking at the menu. I think she's calculating prices in her head. And I get the feeling <laughs> we'll be coming back here once we're done. Nice. All right, let's uh, talk to this lady here. Barista. Hi. Hi. You're new here, aren't you? Uh, yeah, my first time. I knew it. I never forget a face. Let's get a coffee first. It's so tempting, but I've already had more coffee today than I should. Okay. Are you Rachel Abu? Yeah, that's me. I wanted to talk to you about Tiffany Walters. Tiffany? What about her? You were friends, right? Sort of. Yeah. We were friends before... well, before she died. I'm looking into her death. Why? Wasn't it a brain aneurysm or something? That's what I'm trying to find out. Ooh. Well, okay. But I'm not sure what kind of help I can be. Actually, Thanks. hang Have on. A good her death was reported. Oh yeah, obituary. 32, died of a cerebral hemorrhage on November 11th, 2010 at her Manhattan home. She survived by her parents who will be making funeral arrangements in their hometown of Madison, Wisconsin. Okay, so that might be helpful. A little tidbit about her. Okay, now let's Hi talk again. to Rachel. Hi! So you and Tiffany were friends? A few years ago. We were both office temps, and when our jobs ended, we got close. I went on to start this place. She stayed on with the temp agency. She was trying to find her way, you know? Maybe she thought she found it. What do you mean? Oh, um, she met some guy named Ken at one of her temp jobs. Then she stopped hanging out with me. Same old story. I don't blame her. It happens. Temp agency, okay. Have you ever heard of STP? Nope, I don't think so. Sorry. What do you know about the guy Tiffany was with? Only that his name was Ken, and she met him while on one of her office temp jobs. Tiffany was kind of intense about him. She really fell head over heels. I couldn't tell if it was sweet or if it was scary. Okay. Do you know where Tiffany was temping when she met Ken? I wouldn't know. She never told me, and those temp agencies bounce you around. What about the agency she worked for? We didn't work at the same agency, so I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. Okay. But I think that's enough. Thanks. I'll see you around. Have a good night. 
I don't have anything else for you. Okay. Uh, but I think we have enough clues. Temp agency and STP. STP could be a temp agency, I suppose. Only one way to find out. Give me a sec. You talking to me? Bingo. STP stands for Sterling Temp Placement. And here's the address. It's just south of Midtown. You enjoy that thing a little too much. <laughs> All right. Sterling Temp Placements. Hi, are you busy? Hmm? Sorry, we're not taking new applicants right now. And even if I were, it's several hours past closing time. I'm not looking for a job, sorry. I was hoping to ask you some questions. Will this take long? It depends on you. Fine, what do you want? You're open kind of late. Like I said, we're not open. Just because I'm not seeing a client doesn't mean there isn't work to do. Okay, consult notes. I wanted to talk to you about Tiffany Walters. She used to work for this agency. Yes, I remember her. I need to know what company you placed her in. That I'm afraid is confidential. Are you aware that Tiffany is dead? I am aware, yes, but it doesn't change anything. So, what can you tell me about this place? If you want to know more, come back during business hours. Rude much? Do you know anyone named Ken? I think Tiffany was involved with him. I can't tell you anything about that. That's confidential information. So something happened, but you can't tell me about it. I said nothing of the sort. Mm hmm Do you know anyone named Gavin? No, I don't. Did Jeremy stop by here? Are you familiar with the Jeremy Sams? Never heard of him. Do you ever go up to the High Line? I don't. No time. Do you know anyone? No. Nope. Okay. Well, thanks. I'll be going now. Right. Okay. Yep. He's still there. I suppose if we run out of paying gigs, she could use a place like this. Assuming we don't get, you know, thrown out of here, or barred from coming in here like all the other places Rosa and Joey visits. Uh, let's let's try our press pass. I think. Oh wait, first before I do I that. I can't use. They look like leaflets for this temp agency. Can we blow on his face? I ain't gonna waste my breath. Dang it! Typical suit. Pale from sitting in an office all day. Probably has an ulcer, too. <laughs> His name is Sterling, I assume. He looks honest enough, although he's not very friendly. It must be the next game that we can blow on everybody's faces. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's try this press pass on him. You might be interested in seeing this. The City Post? Is that who you're working for? Yes, the biggest paper in the city. Maybe you can be more forthcoming now. No, doesn't change a thing. Confidential is confidential. You just made doubly sure that I won't say anything. I've already shown it to him. His name is Sterling. Uh, Hi again. Yes? Well, thank. Right. Hi again. Yes. Well, thank. Right. Looks like it leads to more. Looks like a race car calendar. I don't need his. Ca Can we go? We don't need to go back there. Nope. They look like leaflet. Sterling here forgot to change the month. Not sure what. Can we mess with anything on? Not anything? sure what blow. Not sure what. Now there's a logo that's overcompensating for something. Just saying. <laughs> this is STP, all right. Okay. I thought the press pass did something. I've already shown it. Hmm. Well, let's go back. 
back and talk to Tiffany. Alright, Joey. In you go. Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Alright. Hello again. What? I heard you worked for Sterling. Well, those jerks. Jerks? They fired me. Terminated my contract. For no reason. Sorry to hear that. Whatever. It's not like there aren't other temp agencies. So, tell me about Ken. Ken? He's wonderful. Is he now? He's... I can't begin to explain. Try me. He... Wait. Not you too. Huh? Why is everyone against us? I don't understand. I'd like to understand. How about you tell me about it? Just go away. Why do you think Sterling fired you? I don't know. It's run by an emotionless sleaze bag. I never liked him. Why do you... I don't know. I'd like to talk to Ken. You think you could introduce me? Why? So you can tell him more lies about me? I don't think so. About this Gavin fella. I told you, I don't know. So you say. No, I can't. You can't say? Why are you bothering me? Just leave me alone. Okay. Mm. Terminated her contract, so we got something added. A working in an office temp job. Okay. Hopefully, well, see. Yeah. Hopefully that's enough. Typical spook. Evasive. Cryptic. Won't give me a damn straight answer. So, par for the course then. Don't worry, we'll get her. We always do. Alright, let's go. I just realized someone's gonna find some, someone's gonna find roses because they're clean. They're they're eventually gonna clean out that apartment. Someone's gonna find Rose's business card in the mailbox, <laughs> and then we'll get banned from that place too. <laughs> oh. All right, let's talk to this agent about the whole firing Hi, thing. Yes. I know you terminated Tiffany's contract. Could you tell me why? Look, we had a serious complaint and had to let her go. That's all I can say. You can't tell me who made the complaint. Absolutely not. Why the secrecy? Surely Tiffany won't mind. She's dead. Look, whatever happened, happened at the client's office. And I like to keep my clients. Agencies like mine are struggling to stay in business. People just aren't hiring temps like they used to. So if it's all the same, I'm keeping my mouth shut. Resort to blackmail. Here we go. This is what this is what the uh, card was the the uh, reporter card was all about. Well, I'm afraid that I have no choice but to end my article with you. Huh? What do you mean? An investigation is like following links in a chain, and you're the last link. Is this supposed to be a threat? I've told you absolutely nothing. Oh, don't worry. I'll just write the truth about how you fired her and then refused to comment on her tragic death in the City Post, read by millions. That should do wonders for your reputation, don't you think? <laughs> Why are you harassing me? Surely there are other leads you could follow. Maybe, but I'm on a deadline. It's a shame that I don't have someone else to harass instead. Maybe then I could avoid mentioning this place entirely. This is blackmail. <laughs> Fine. The man you want is Ken Sharp of Sharp Sound. Now just get out of here. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Sharp. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I definitely forgot about that. <laughs> no, no emails. Awesome. Rachel told me that Tiffany was seeing a man named Ken. Okay. Um, I don't think Sharp Industries was added
Did I spell that wrong? No. Sharp sound. Okay. Okay, now we got the location. Awesome. It's the door to the stairwell. Becca, I found your phone. I've got it in my desk drawer. Swing by when you get the chance and I'll give it back to you. Ken. Becca, as in Rebecca? Locked. As in Rebecca Wittetaker. Uh, okay, I get it now. Yeah. Wit Wittetaker or Wittaker? Come I on in. No idea. Hi, are you Ken Sharp? I sure am. What can I do for you, Miss? Blackwell. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Nah. The midnight oil could wait. What's up? I'm helping out the City Post with an article. I was hoping I could ask you some questions. The newspaper. Sure. Ask away. They even got the same voice actor. That's awesome. So, what can you tell me about this place? This place? We're an audio studio. You need any voiceover, music, or sound design, then we're your guys. I was hoping to talk to you about Tiffany. Tiffany? Walters. She used to work for you as a temp. Did she? I'm afraid we've gone through quite a few temps. Yeah, I'll bet he has. So, uh, I'm sorry. She might have worked for us, but I don't remember her. Uh-huh. Do you ever deal with a temp agency called Sterling? Yeah, I use them to hire temps sometimes, when things get busy. Are you using them now? Not at the moment. Things are pretty slow. So, tell me about yourself. Not much to say. What you see is what you get. Are you sure you don't remember a Tiffany Walters? I told you, I don't remember anyone named Tiffany Walters. Mm -hmm. I spoke to a guy from Sterling. He confirmed she worked here. For all I know, he might be right. But I don't remember her. Like I said, we go through a lot of temps here. Mm -hmm. You filed a complaint with Sterling about Tiffany. You don't remember that? Have you ever worked with temps? Some are all right, but others? Well, there's a reason why they are temping. So sure, I've made my share of complaints, but can I remember any specific one? No. Hmm. Were you ever in a relationship with anyone named Tiffany? Miss Blackwell, was it? I have a wife and two kids, and none of them are named Tiffany. I'm just following a lead. I was told that Tiffany was involved with someone named Ken. Well, it wasn't me. Ha uh ha. -huh. Well, thanks. See you around. Wait, we just walk out? Okay, then let's send Joey in. I'm gonna go in and snoop around. You sit tight. And the first thing I wanna see... Yep. Oh, and that's the picture Laura took. Aw, it's too bad Joey doesn't comment. He looks pretty intent on, well, whatever the hell he's actually doing. I couldn't even begin to guess what this stuff is for. Alright, he said something, this note said something about a phone in the desk. <sighs> I can barely make anything out in here. It's kind of black. I have no idea what it is. I can't see a thing. It looks like a letter. It looks like a letter. I can't make out what it says. Hmm. I couldn't even begin to guess what this stuff is for. Whoa. Feels like the AC kicked in. Hooray! Worked on someone. I could... Must I define... Leads to a back room. The door. Nothing important back there. Hmm. Okay, so we've got a phone for Rebecca. Oh, 
It but. says Gal Friday Publishing. <laughs> oh. No, nope, still a ghost. Still can't pick that up. Yeah, Gal Friday is another reference to Rebecca, Rebecca Whittaker. Um, because I, if I am remembering correctly, she works as a burlesque dancer as well. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. I hope I got the right saying. Looks like the door. She looks a bit out of place up here, but I can say the same of most places. It says sharp sound. Can't do anything with that. It says Gal Friday Publishing. Okay, so let's look that up then. And yeah, Gal Friday is her nickname. Um, Gal Friday. Can we just do that? No. Aha! Now we got the phone number. Okay. So we need Joey to go in here. I'm gonna go in. Can we have Rosa call from out here? Yes, we can. Gal Friday. And the phone is buzzing. It looks like one of those plastic squares Red calls a phone. Last night, Ken, last night was the most. Magical night of my life. I never knew I could feel this way. I'll be dreaming of you tonight. XOX Tiffany. Looks like a love letter. And it's signed Tiffany. Sounds like our boy Ken knew Tiffany after all. Looks like a love sounds like Okay. We can hang up now. I'm kind of... Alright. Let's go confront him. Come on in. can ask about the photographs. Awesome. That's an interesting picture up there. I don't recognize the band. Well, you wouldn't. That was my dad's group. They haven't been together since the 60s. What happened to them? They died. They <laughs> died, I think. <laughs> what? He never talked about it much. <laughs> Who's that man in the photograph? Him? Uh, that's my dad. He and I started this place um, about 20 years ago. He's retired now, but he pops his head in sometimes. So, tell me, Ken, why do you have a letter from Tiffany in your desk? What? What is this? Are you sneaking in here while I'm not around? Is that it? Maybe I'm just psychic. Yeah? Well, maybe I'll just call the police. I just want to find out what happened to Tiffany. Look, whatever happened to her, it had nothing to do with me. Maybe you're right, but maybe you can tell me what happened so I can decide for myself? <sighs> you're a real piece of work. Fine. Go on. Ask what you want. All right, what happened? So, tell me about Tiffany. Look, you breathe a word of this, and I'll have the police on you so fast it'll make your head spin. Lips are sealed. All right. Yes, I knew Tiffany. You probably guessed that we were involved. I gathered that. I was working late. We were doing spots for a new TV commercial, and she volunteered to help out. I thought she just wanted the overtime, but turns out she wanted something else. So she came on to you? Yeah, she wouldn't take no for an answer. Look, I'm a married guy with two kids. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't help myself. It was like a drug. Uh -huh. Of course, the girl was completely crazy. I should have noticed that right off. Why do you keep the letter if the relationship is over? I don't know. Nostalgia, maybe? It was nice at the beginning. She was crazy, but she saw something in me. I suppose I still want to hold on to that. Especially now that she's, you know, gone. Crazy? How so? My God, the girl was obsessed. Showing up at the office at all hours, stalking me, calling my house at night. She kept saying we were destined to be together, that it was fate. Even when I tried to break it off, she wouldn't take no for an answer. God, what a nightmare. I should have broken it off long before I did. So you did end things with her? God, yes. 
I had to. Even if I wasn't a married man, the woman was a complete head case. Talking about the stars and fate and destiny. She even started calling me Turtle Dove. What a nightmare. Turtle Dove? So I buckled down and ended it. And she didn't take it well. I had to get a restraining order put on her. I've learned my lesson, that's for sure. No more temps. And definitely no more affairs. My life is with my wife and family. Okay. Well, thanks. See you around. That stayed there. So that is important. However, I just realized we have almost hit an hour now. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>